Hi, I'm Brian Willey for the Photographer Academy. In this video, I'm gonna look at an advanced way of using a wireless connection to transfer pictures from a camera to a computer. Now, this is a connection system called FTP, so File Transfer Protocol, and it's not available in all of the cameras. Usually, you might have to add on a wireless transmitter, so the first thing to think about is you need to know a little bit about the FTP server you're going to use. So you'll need a username and a password to get to it, and possibly either an IP address or a URL to get to your FTP server. You can use an FTP server on the internet, so possibly your web hosting company's got one that you could connect to. Um, but you can also run the FTP server actually on your computer. So I've got an FTP server running on my MacBook, um, and you can also use them on Windows. If you're gonna use a Windows computer, I'd really recommend you use FileZilla FTP server. It's a really easy one to set up. Um, on the Mac, there's actually one built into the computer, so it's a little bit easier. So let's start with the beginnings. Um, when you use FTP mode, you need to have an existing network connection. So that means the Wi-Fi connection in your studio, in your home, or your office, or whatever. And because the camera will connect to the network and hence to the server only when it needs to send pictures. So one of the real benefits for FTP is the ability to have multiple photographers or cameras connected into the same computer. Each camera enable, makes a connection, connects in, sends the pictures, and then um, comes off the connection. That frees up the bandwidth for other cameras to use the connection, but you can also have multiple cameras connecting at the same time. So event photographers where you've got two or three guys shooting into a single computer, this is exactly the solution for you. So we're gonna use a 5D Mark IV. To set it up, let's we'll start with um, the camera side. So we're gonna go into the menu and we're gonna choose the communication settings. So we actually need to talk about the built-in settings. So the first thing is we need to turn the wireless on. That's okay. And now we need to give a name to this camera. So this is called 5D Mark IV, that's fine. And now we're into the settings, we need to choose the function we're gonna use. So the one we want to use is FTP mode. And that's the one down here. So we choose that, that's the one. And the first thing it's gonna do is ask to connect to a network. So it's gonna display the networks available. We're gonna use the Photographer Academy network. And that's the one we want. And we need to put the password in, so that's fine. I'll put the password in for us. So that's going to connect to the network. It's going to connect, to give us an IP address for our camera from the network. That's fine. And now the next step with the camera will ask us for information about our FTP server. So let's just choose, there's two sorts. There's an FTP or a secure FTP server. We're going to use a regular one, which is what you'll probably use if you've got it running on your laptop. Um, the first thing is we need to know the address setting. So I need to know the address of my laptop is how it's connected to the network. So on the laptop itself, what I've got is the network settings and it shows me I've got an IP address of 192.168.1200. So that's what I'm gonna need to put into here. Actually, fact, I'm most of the way there with this, connect, with this one at the moment. So I'm gonna quickly set that one to 200 and that's my that's my address and now I hit the menu button and it, the port number is 21 that's the default for this that's reason that's totally fine we'll connect and we don't need to use passive mode within this so depending on your FTP server setup these settings are part of what's configured in the FTP server if you're not sure you can switch between and try we're okay for that we're not using a proxy server. If you're using a proxy server, it's probably beyond our pay grade, but certainly in an environment where you've got a camera it's just talking to a computer, there's no proxy server involved. Now we need to put our login name. Um, so I'm gonna use the login name and with a password, so there's a password protection on the server. That means that every camera needs to have the username and password to be able to log into the FTP server. Um, so we're gonna use one of those. So we've asked to put that in, okay. So I now need to put in the names. So let's just delete the, okay, so there's my name, the, my username gone in. It's now asking for me a path for a tip to put a password in. So I'll just wipe the one that's on there. So that's what the password is for access to the FTP server running on my Mac. 
and it's gonna ask me where do I wanna put it on that server. So when you run it with the server, you'll nominate a root folder where your camera gonna access to. If you just use the root folder, it'll put it straight in there. I actually prefer to create, particularly on the Mac, a specific folder for it. So I'm gonna use a specific, I'm gonna select a folder and I'm gonna create a BW for I'm going Brian. Put the menu in, and it's now come up, and it says it's connected to the FTP server. So that's the best screen because, in fact, to get that come up, you've got no errors, and it means that the camera is now connected through the wireless network to the FTP server on the Mac. So we can we can put the OK button, and, and we're good to go. So now you've got some decisions to make. You can decide how the camera is going to work and how you're going to transfer pictures to the computer. So within here go back one level. We've got our Wi-Fi settings. Let's go into here and we want to just check the settings. You can review all those settings. Um, you can show how it's connected, where it's getting its IP address from, all of the information about the network and the servers. And that's pretty much ready to go. So now as we take pictures, those pictures will be transferred to the computer. One thing I would advise when you use FTP mode, since you can send raw files, happy if you shoot raw and jpeg with the camera you can set the ftp mode settings in the camera such that only the jpeg is sent to the computer that's obviously a much easier smaller lighter file to send so they arrive much quicker uh, if you don't need a huge great full resolution jpeg send a small one send a medium one the other thing that's quite useful within the ftp settings is to choose how they're sent. So at the moment mine's set up such that all of the pictures are sent automatically. So as I'm shooting, pictures are sent into the FTP server. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna change my camera so I'm gonna shoot a RAW and a JPEG. So we'll send a, a medium JPEG, that's fine. Okay, and so we're now gonna shoot medium JPEG. So if I take a picture now, what we'll get is that the, the picture will be captured and stored on the card, but they're also sent through onto the FTP server. Let's go and have a look and see where that is on here. It comes into the user folder. Here's my picture. And it's created a picture that's come, come through. So we've got a copy on the camera, and there's a, a quick picture has come through to the computer as well. The other possibility is to choose pictures from the camera's display. So if we go into the communication settings again, we've got the option to transfer with set. Now that's quite helpful if you don't want to transfer everything. So let's just choose not to send everything. You can still do that, but we'll send, just keep that so it's not sending everything. But actually, in fact, we're going to use transfer with set. So what that means is that I can review pictures I've taken. Let's go find something. So take this one, and you notice on the screen it says set. So that means if I press the set key, that picture is added to the queue and will now be transferred into the computer in whatever format that it was originally captured. So this was captured as a raw file and there's no JPEG with it, so it sent the full raw file. It means that rather than send everything as you shoot, you can just choose the specific ones just by going through and playback and press the set button for all the ones you want to transfer. And it's not just you send one and wait, and then it sends another. You can actually go through quite fast and queue a few pictures up and it will put them in a queue and send the ones that you queue up and they'll just go through in order. The other thing with STP is it keeps a track of which files have transferred and which ones are still in the queue to transfer. So that if the transfer fails because the network goes down or something, you can go back through the camera menus and find the images which still need to be sent. So FTP mode is quite a complex setup and it needs a little bit more IT knowledge, but actual fact it's very powerful because of its ability to support multiple cameras into one computer. One other possibility with FTP mode is to use the hotspot function on your mobile phone. So both iOS and Android phones have that capability, but do take care because this does can use quite a lot of data through your data plan, particularly if you're going to send big files. I'd only recommend it good for sending JPEGs uh, because 20 or 30 raw files is easily more than a gigabyte these days. So what happens is, is you set up the hotspot function on the phone and then you configure the camera to use the wireless settings that your phone provides 
um, and you can connect the computer to the phone, so you could send it through the phone to the computer. Alternatively, you could, if you're not you sending it to this computer, you can send it to an internet connected FTP server, maybe the one at your website. And so the camera would send the pictures through your phone onto your website live through your FTP server. So quite a lot of capabilities within FTP mode and suitable for advanced users who have quite a bit of technical knowledge, particularly on the, on the FTP server side, um, though it's not dif that difficult to set up. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Brian Worley for the Photographer Academy.